What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing out there? Guess what? I'm back with, you guessed it, bet you guessed it, the main menu. And this is more of Bot Bot the Telltale series. This is still episode four, guys. It's where we left off last time. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Bada bing, bada boom boom. Here we go. Drug molecule, DNA clean. But anyway, yeah, I, I told you guys last video that, uh, yeah, I was supposed to post it yesterday, the last video, but I was like, you know what, it was too long and it uh, kind of uploaded late. I was like, you know what, I'll just wait till, um, wait till today to upload it. I know I said tomorrow on that last video. Just forget what I said on that last video. But what like I said on the last video, though, is that I wanted to uh, dive deep in, into what happened last last video. Wow. Freaking phenomenal. Like, so much shit's going on. I can't wait to see what Joker is up to. What's his grand plan? Like, is he part of Twitter Arkham? Like, what the hell's going on? So, Vicky Vale, Lady Arkham? Like, what the fuck, bro? Big twist, though? But anyways, let's get to it. I, I got to see what happens next. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Alrighty, DNA sample? Here's my DNA before the incident. Seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We Wait, don't what? have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Um... I guess you gotta line them up. That's not right. This is uh, unexpected. You know your boy's not good with shit like this. I swear, man, it's gonna take me forever to get this done. Oh, there we go. Nice. I didn't know what I was doing. I should do it. All right, antidote. He just created an antidote just like that. Damn. So this needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Oh God, why, why make me do it? Oh shit, this is hard. Oh, 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 damn, that's this. Needles don't bother me like I'm not like scared of them like a lot of people are, but Hopefully that does the trick. They do hurt like It'll a motherfucker. Work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. Woman, trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I never trusted her. I never trusted her. There was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No offense intended to... No, we should be careful. It's the best we have. Of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. 
I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. I like that smirky game. He's like, yeah, you know. Be careful, you mean as risk my life? Yeah, I'll do that. Put my body on the line. Beat up some thugs. Gotham Heights. Nice little neighborhood. Very chill. Bet that rent's high as hell, though. $800 a month. I'm inside the Vale House. Creepy ass house. Move deeper into the house to get a better look. Oh shit, who's that? Is that our... Is that our mom? What the fuck happened here? Is her eyes gauged out? Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it. Vicky made sure they kept quiet. She killed her parents? The fuck? Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. As... Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. Oh my That's god. Disturbing. Oh my god. Ugh. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. What the fuck, bro? We gotta connect that to the syringe. Why is it doing that? Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Wow. Vicky Recent Vale. Family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the Vales with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Hmm. Adopted child? Maybe they care about that kid more than they did her? Interesting. Still doesn't give her a reason to stab her mom's eyes out. And uh, give her a drug and all that. What the hell? Vicky Vale, man. What the hell is going on with her? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Hmm. I'll connect that too. I'm pretty sure that doesn't connect to the photo though. Let me look around more. Wait, what the fuck is this? More blood. I guess that's the father in there. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Maybe they're trying to protect themselves? Oh, the knife and the hair. Got it. Here's Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Vicky Vale's hair. Yeah, man, Vicky Vale took the turn for the worse, man. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. 
Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Hmm. Yeah, she definitely took a turn for the worse. Like, she went off the deep end. Can I connect these two? I don't know if these connect. He's like, no, he's shaking his head. He's like, no. That's not, that's not right. You should know that. Damn, so what am I looking for now? Anything back here? Looks like I gotta go through the door. The pantry. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Oh Alive. my god. No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. She must have known I was coming. That's why she killed him off. That's why. Yeah. She knew Batman was coming. Killed him before they could say anything. Because she didn't want anybody to, uh, you know, figure, figure her out. Try to, stay try to stay hidden, at least. But still, killing your own parents? Like, that's what you go to go to? That's insane. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Damn. What the fuck is going on? Oh, the company logo to the family photo. Yeah, boy. Knows what he's doing now. Linking it up. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Huh. Interesting. Now let's match this to the wall over here. It's the only thing left, ain't it? The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Mm. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. Oh. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity on Lady Arkham. Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. The kid. It's got to be the kid. The little boy. Clear. Nothing here. Okay. But yeah, so... Vicky Vale's adopted too then, so I guess they just adopt. Anything? No. Upstairs, maybe. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Yep, the kid. I knew it. Nice hiding spot, though, for real. <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing in here? Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? 
Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Caution. Right. <laughs> okay, Alfred. Tell me what happened. You're gonna be alright. Come on out. Tell me what happened. I need to know what happened. No. Tell me what no. you saw. Go away. The boy's afraid of Batman. Why are you hiding? Please. Please just leave me alone. I'm on your side. I want people to be afraid of me. Even little boys like him should be afraid of the boogeyman. Oh shit, no! Oh god. Dude, they killed the kid. Oh God! How did he dodge that? Oh, come on, get it! Oh, that was sick. Nice throw. Hell! Didn't work. Oh, fuck the kid! Nice. Oh no, no, don't kill the kid. I know I'm playing the bad Batman, but I don't even want to see that. Nice. How you like that, Penguin? That was stupid, yeah. That was really stupid. I handle the dangerous stuff. You stay hidden. Sorry. I have to be a dick. I'm sorry. He did a good job, though, but... I'm being a bad Batman. They're dead. Oh. Oh my god. Yes, they are. But you are not. You are still alive. And those emotions you're feeling, someday you'll learn how to use them. To channel them. You might not understand now, but someday it will make you stronger. I promise, I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. I forgot he didn't see him. Yeah, I wasn't even like realizing that that he didn't even notice like Batman. his parents been killed. I'm like, holy fuck, that's oh messed God. up, man. He was the only survivor. That is so messed up. Come on, let's get you out of here. I feel bad now being mean to him. Batman won't hurt me, will he? Now that's not gonna hurt him. Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? Yeah. And so who was the boy then? He lives here. He's a witness. Just look after him. He lives here? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not me more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Yeah, he deserves that. Home sweet home.
but not so sweet for the veils, man. Man, I felt so bad being such a dick to that little kid. Like, I didn't want to do it, but when you want to be bad, you got to be bad to everybody, even the little kids. He's like, Batman's not gonna hurt me, is he? He was legit afraid. I would be too, though. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. Remove. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. EMP functionality is all in the green. It should have worked. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone, Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. But that sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Don't waste time beating yourself up about it, Lucius. Let's just focus on fixing it. Right, right. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to it. Let's turn the tables. I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Who knows how he will react either way. Well, he hates both Bruce Wayne and Batman because Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne fucked his girl. Well, he thinks I fucked Catwoman, but I didn't. Also, Batman didn't save him, made him Two-Face, so it really doesn't matter. He hates both of Bruce and Batman, but you all know that I'm going the Batman route. Tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Go on as Batman. Back to business, here we Don't go. Don't screw this up, Harvey. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, of course. Of course it was the right thing to do. I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Dangerous place to stand. Be so easy to slip and fall. Oh, Batman. What a surprise to see you on my roof. You've gone too far. 
Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? What are you gonna do? You gonna break my legs? Now you're getting quite a reputation around town. You don't just make threats. You back them up. If it comes to that. You think that even comes close to what you let happen to my face? Uh, funny. Would have thought that this Wayne situation would be a little... beneath you, Batman. After everything Bruce has done, why should I do anything for him? Because I'm telling you to. Because I'm the one who's telling you to. You think I'm someone who makes idle threats? No, I suppose you're not. Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. What the fuck? What, what did, did he do? You do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. Oh man, that blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Doing this, you're no better than the children of Arkham. You're worse. No, I'm saving Gotham. I doubt the police would see it that way. The police? Oh, the smart ones already answer to me. Otherwise, well, I think Gordon is already a perfect example of what happens to the not-so-smart ones. Bet he wishes he had just handed over the location of the drug stockpile when I asked. What did you say about Gordon? Oh shit. Look, where is he? Getting what's coming to him. You're so full of big scary talk. I should tear you apart, Gordon. You got to save say. this city. This is how you have to do it. I should tear you apart right here. You could, but that wouldn't bring him back. By now, he's already another corpse in Crime Alley. Dodging bullets like a boss? Back should... off of Wayne, huh? He should have threw him off. <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. That damn Two-Face. I felt bad for Harvey before. No, I don't. Fuck that dude. What the hell is this? Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No, he's trying to help. The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is do. Hello, boys. <laughs> what? Headbutted his ass. That nice. What a mess. Thank you. Batman. Save the thanks and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs, the location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. I'll fucking say it right now, bitch. Come on. Let's hear it. People got hurt on your watch. Yeah, and I was almost one of them. In case you didn't notice the gun to my face. I can't believe you're going to lay this on me now. God! Jim. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. 
Then Marlowe's though. Execution and martial law. I know. I always considered him my friend. Marbos. But he's past saving. And there's no world in which he manages to set this right. My job isn't to save him. If he's hurting this city, then he needs to be stopped. <sighs> That's all circling the drain. Dent was a real hope for this city, and now... He's not the man he used to be. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. The real threat on the streets is still the children of Arkham. They are what Dent is reacting to. And standing in the way of dealing with them, too. The precinct trusts you. The commissioner trusts you. Use that. Direct their focus. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. Nice. I wasn't trying to be on the same side, and I guess I didn't pick the right thing, but still. I ain't on nobody's side. I'm on my own team. Lucius, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? What the fuck? Sir, the hell's going on? Are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Oh, I gotta choose. Don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Go to Wayne Enterprises, go to Wayne Manor. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go to Wayne Enterprises and stop the Penguin. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Let's get it. I guess it's gonna be another long video, guys, but hopefully you guys are still here and sticking with it. It's just hard to find a place to stop it at. This game moves so fast, to so much dialogue, but that's how Telltale works, man. Just gotta go with the flow. You already know. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Come on, Batman. Just kill somebody already. Signal coming through, Lucius. I'm waiting on it. I'll give you what support I can. But from here in the Batcave, I can only see what you can. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can definitely do that. Just be careful, Bruce. No telling what kind of security he's had installed. I bet they're saving that for the last episode. If you go the bad route, maybe you can kill somebody eventually. Because it's such a big thing. Because, you know, Batman doesn't kill. Oh, shit. See ya. What the hell's going on, man? Getting chased by these damn drones. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? Wow. Nice. Two on one, baby. Time to fire the new CEO. Oh, shit. It's getting good. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? 
useless you you're all bloody useless hey it's the bear you're a dead man well if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again glow while you can cobblepot i'm taking you down mm, yeah i don't think so in fact i think it's you who's gonna get beat by me i'm pretty good in a fight you know that's not happening. You're outmatched here. Give up. Oh, is that what you think? What, because of all those fancy gadgets? You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us. Not even you! But this company, under my expert... Shut up, Cobblepot. With the technology being Spare me the chatter, Cobblepot. Afraid not, mate. This has been in the making for a long, long time. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So Power focused reach. on consumer technology. <sighs> oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy ear costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. Don't believe me, just watch. Got him. No, not happening, buddy. Come nice. on, Batman. Show me what you got. My turn. Oh, fuck. What the hell? You're pathetic. Punch his hands. Come on, man. What happened? What's going on? It's loading. Guess we'll cut to the next scene. Damn, man. This shit is crazy. Yeah, that little butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes, or your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it. Damn, we gotta fight. Oh shit! Cop up with my ass. Ooh! Right on the fuck. All right, nope, 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 nope. Damn! Get my ass whooped, guys. Haven't you learned yet? I've shut you down. I'm the one with the toys now, bad. This is crazy. Batman's really defenseless right now. I've never seen this before. This is the start of a new legacy. And I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. Time to use some real tools. Bye bye. Please hit him. Come on. Oh! Holy shit. How's he not knocked out? That shit had to hurt, man. Nope. This is an awesome fight right now. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Not happening. Got him. And we're still going at it. You absolute 
<laughs> That's my name, bitch. Don't wear it out. Ooh. Oh, that backspin backhand. Oh, oh my God, damn. Oh, he's got the this limp now. The Batman. You can't stop us. It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with Lady Arkham. Uh, oh, good luck. You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. This city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off! Knock him out. I'm not telling you anything. You knew I had to. Little bitch. Yeah, that's how he got the limp. He's gonna stop wobbling like a penguin now. And that's destroyed. Nice. Awesome. I'm so sorry for the long video, guys. I just can't find a place to stop it. It's longer than the last video. Hopefully, you guys are still there. What the? Enjoying it. Because I am. Just cut me down, mate. <laughs> That's funny. Just cut me down, mate. Oh, shit. I forgot about... Harvey went to uh, my uh, he went to Wayne Manor. He burned that bitch up. Holy was this, shit. Was this really necessary? I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell them Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> Wait, what? That's the ending of episode four, guys. Wow, okay. Let's see this before I go. I mean, we already have 40 minutes, so if you guys want to uh, ditch, you can, but I'm going to see how my uh, how my choices worked out. Did you promise Joker a favor? You and 48% players agreed to owe Joker a favor after being released from Arkham. Mm-hmm. I was surprised like we didn't get to see that in this episode. I guess they're saving it for episode 5, which is going to be so fucking lit, bro. God, I can't wait to see what happens with that. You know, 64% players chose to follow Joker's advice and make a phone call to get out of Arkham. Yep. I'm actually getting on the, uh, the, the good side this time. I'm on the green. You know, 50% of players ran the barricade at Harvest Security Checkpoint. Nice, see? People are coming around. Nice. You know, 53% players chose to imitate... Intimidate Harvey as Batman instead of risking his wrath as Bruce. Nice, yep. You and 52% players chose to stop Oswell from destroying your tech at risk Harvey destroying your home. Sick, nice. Well, I was definitely in the green mostly on this uh, part of episode 4. It's not really that it's bad choices, like being the bad Batman. It's just like... I am, like, the most interesting thing to me is... The, you chose, like, 64% players chose to follow Joker's advice. I didn't think a lot of people would just because they're trying to be the good Batman because, you know, Joker's bad and all that. Like, why would you, like, team up with Joker if you're, not, if you're doing the good route? But, hey, people like Joker, man. This is how it is. I love him. He's a great, one of the best villains ever, ever made, in my opinion. Great, great villain. But uh, with all that being said, guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you for everything. I know this was a super long video. I'm going to end it today. It's only going to be two videos today, guys. Uh, I, would, I would have posted three, but these videos are too long. they back-to-back -back as well, so I'm just going to give you time to watch them. But anyways, you guys were awesome. You guys rock. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for loving the series. I'm loving it, too. We got one more episode to go through, guys. Can't wait. See what Joker's up to. But all that being said, stay different from everybody else. You're witnessing greatness. Damn, this was a great episode. This is a great game. But I'm out of here. See you guys in the next one.